So this week I took on another job shop job and this job shop job had to do with the Delrin. Basically it's just like a hard plastic and you, it's machinable so it's really cool. The piece of Delrin I got from eBay was $17.50 and that was with free shipping. So eBay has been sourcing a lot of my raw materials here lately and they're, they just have really good prices and they're still really good quality material. So when I got this stuff I wanted to be somewhat conservative because I, it was pretty expensive and I only had two pieces so I could only mess up one time. I treated it like I would aluminum basically and I just gave it a little bit more feed rate and that was it. I ended up going about 40 inches per minute at 5500 RPM with 35 thousandths radial engagement or optimal load and that was about 360 surface feet per minute and that was at about like 25, 250 thousand steps so a quarter inch depth. Now this is a job shop job so I don't necessarily want to show everything about it just because it's someone else's part, someone else designed it or whatever so I don't want to show the whole thing but I'd rather show like specific features of that part to give you guys a feel of what I'm working with. And another thing that I want to do in my videos as I go forward, I'm going to tell you guys how much the part is paying or how much the job is paying to make a specific part or a variety of different parts in one job. Do just to show you guys and I don't want to time myself, I want to prove to myself that it's worth my time, that I'm not spending too much time uh, camming the part or making the tool paths for the part on the computer or make sure I'm not spending too much time setting up, all of the above. I just want to basically prove to myself and show you guys the time involved and the price of the part that's being paid. Now I'm only making one of these Delrin pieces and this specific job pays roughly a hundred dollars just to make one piece, one part out of Delrin. Now I'm no expert in camming the part or making tool paths for the part. So camming, computer aided manufacturing is basically making the tool paths for the machine to run. So every time I say camming, cam, that's that's what that means. So I tend to mess up a decent amount, whether I'm camming the part or machining the part itself. So it just happens. Setting up this job was was not too bad at all. I literally just put a device. I used the, the talon grips on the car smart jaws to, to grip the part and just I didn't tighten it down too much on the vise. I just sort of let it go. I mean it was tight enough. Now machining this part wasn't too bad. It was fairly easy, very easy going the whole time until I didn't have enough tool stick out out of the collet. So the whole thing came down and the the collet nut hit the part and that really annoyed me because I only had two two pieces of raw stock or I was able to cut two pieces out of the big piece of raw stock so I only had two chances to make this part and make it right. So the first one got messed up but the, end, the second one ended up fine thankfully. But that mess up there cost me a lot of time and that time it should have been almost cut in half of what you see there. All in all I hope I get more Delrin jobs because this stuff is awesome. I would machine this every single day if I could. And if you guys have Instagram by any chance you guys need to check out it's at Calpay K-A-L-P-A-Y. For some reason he's been doing a lot of Delrin parts lately and he is a master at this stuff. I mean pretty much everything. Anything you throw at him he's a really good at so I just enjoy looking at all the parts that he makes. So, so if you want to you can go on over to his Instagram page and check out all this cool stuff. So here is a little Excel sheet that I made up and this just shows my cam time in hours which was it was almost an hour so I just put an hour down. My individual setup time which was about 18 minutes as you saw my individual runtime, which was about almost an hour so this is 59 minutes here and it should have been almost cut in half if I didn't mess up so here is my total setup time and runtime in hours so 1.288 or 1.283333 and here is my total quantity of parts run which is only one here is my per hour basis which I just basically gave myself my total material cost which was seventeen dollars and fifty cents and I came to find my cost per part by adding my cam time and hours plus my total setup and run time and multiplying that times my per hour basis of fifty dollars an hour divided by my total quantity which is only one so that's how I found the cost per part and then once I found the cost per part I gave the total here so the total is the cost per part plus the material cost. So $131, almost $132, which really isn't bad. It should have been somewhere right around $100 if I didn't mess up. So that's okay.
we learned and we move on. I think that's it for now. So catch you guys this weekend. Thanks for watching. Thank you.